ecology have contributed significantly towards the development of science towards the like very innovative and revolutionary researches i agree with the fact that it's a tool to visualize but i also have a modified opinion i would like to tell you that about seeing through eyes i believe structural biology have potential to see through brain do you find it difficult let me explain suppose you are a married man i know many of you are not but a married man goes back to home and wife says two situation one your brother in law is coming second your sister in law is coming now if you see through eyes both of them are same situation but actually as a man you are little bit irritated with the fact that your brother in law is coming but definitely you don't want to let that know by your wife so when she says hey your brother in law is coming oh he is coming okay second your sister in law is coming you are actually excited but you don't want to show it to your wife so she is saying your sister in law is coming okay okay you don't want to you know express so that is what i call seeing through brain seeing through heart now you say okay i understand what you mean but how this is relevant to your course it is highly relevant because structural biology is much more than a tool in one side and in other side study of structural biology could not be an isolated phenomena it should be associated with the other fields of biology so my objective here to present to the holistic picture of biology and how it could be benefited by the contribution from structural biology as i have written in the introduction to the course next generation sequencing have changed the way we take a look into biology now by using technique of ngs next generation sequencing you could read the genome transcriptome proteome and metabolome of an organism within few days which was not a phenomena even 20 years earlier now with that innovative tools we could really see we could really read so we could see through our eyes but now we have to go into the detail of the mechanism now you have to see through the brain through the heart and that is the attempt of my course to show you the connections show you the potential of the structural biology beside this i also have another hidden agenda here i want many of you who are not coming to the field of structural biology as your future goal to of the career path they could be excited and inspired to take that subject last but not the least i also would guide you to understand that by learning the tools and devices of structural biology how you could apply it to the another field of biology like molecular biology you are working with dna polymerase replication complex how your knowledge of coordinates how your knowledge of visualization will enrich your research let's come to the details of the course there are 12 weeks in the course spreaded over 60 lectures i have divided the course into four part in the first part i am talking about history how the biological research flows how structural biology contributed to that and how the basic biological macromolecules are present what are their properties and all sort of them then we will come to the structural biology technique there are divided into two parts high resolution and low resolution in the high resolution i will talk about nmr protein crystallography and cryo electron microscopy 
in the low resolution part we will talk about circular dichroism fluorescent spectroscopy sacs and we will go for the application of that in the third part we will talk about visualization and dynamics in the visualization part i will talk about the coordinates how to read them what are the files how to use them on the visualization softwares how to make nice pictures out of that in the dynamics part we will see how the static coordinates could be made dynamic because biology would be studied in dynamics in the fourth part we will talk about the applications the application means here there would be structure based drug designing and protein engineering with that i will come to the organization of the course during the course assignments would be given and those assignments would be very critical for understanding the subject at the end of the course an examination will be conducted for those who are interested to get the course participation certificate but as a guide of the course i appeal all of you who are taking the course to go through the examination because you know generally we work under pressure so if you take the pressure of giving the examination it would be helpful for you to a total learning which you could carry forward i look forward to interact with you during the course and with that i thank all of you for listening thank you